verse 32. David said to Saul, Let no one lose heart on account of this Philistine. Your servant will go and fight him. Father, today I ask that your word will be sharp and accurate. Let it be relevant to our lives, transforming us for good. In Jesus' name, amen. Tell somebody for me, talk yourself up to the stage. Hallelujah. Uh, I have a lot to say, but I'm going to try to be as brief as possible. Amen. I've been accused one time, two Sundays ago, of being too fast. So I'm trying to be. Amen. Hallelujah. Who saw, who, who saw The Lion King? Who saw the movie The Lion King? Put your hand up. Okay. You know, in The Lion King, um, Simba's father was king. King Mufasa. And he was killed by Simba's wicked uncle, Scar. Who remembers that scene? And what happened was Simba was supposed to be the next in line. He was supposed to be king. And he runs away in fear for his life. And he runs into the wild and he begins to, to live with other animals. And he grew up just an ordinary lion. A anybody ever had this, you know, found yourself in a situation where you were, you felt less than yourself? Anybody? Now, whatever it is, you've, you've, you've been in this place where you know to yourself that there is more to me than I have exhibited in this situation of my life. And I was talking to him earlier, his uh, purpose of visiting the Philippines is to talk some business expansion with our president, Dr. Ken. Because apparently, he grew his group, not only in Nigeria, but he has grown his group so big, especially in Canada, Jamaica, and Bermuda. So, you know, he's basically in plan, build his group in Nigeria, and he has grown his business all over the world. So he came here to visit and talk some business expansion with Doc Ed, and we also took this chance, because this is our PS and SHG night anyway, so we asked him if he could, could give his testimony tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, he's not only a top nine distributor back in Nigeria, but at the same time, he is a pastor. So join me in welcoming one of our top pastor. leaders back in Nigeria, Malupi. Pastor Israel Yukomo! Malupit yan. May pastor ako ah. Hello everybody. Mabuhai. Mabuhai. I want to say it is an honor to be here. I didn't know I was going to be speaking, so I didn't get any full warning. So this is an impromptu speech. But I would like to start from the beginning. I hated network marketing. Hated it. Whenever you start to talk to me about network marketing, I switch up. I'm not interested. I'm a pastor, but I'm also a bespoke tailor. I make suits, so I build my own suit. I think that's why I look so good. It's a joke, it's a joke. But you know, God has blessed me and God has blessed my business. I make suits for kings and presidents and governors. And so I travel the world and, and do what I do. So the moment you start to talk to me about network marketing, I switch off. But I, I mentor people to teach them, you know, what I've learned in my life, mistakes I've made, successes I've had. And there's a lady that I mentor, her name is Victoria Latunde. She, she, she has a, a school. And so her students were graduating, this was in August of 2015. Her students are graduating and she asked me to come and speak to them, to talk to them and, and empower them and inspire them. While I was there waiting to speak to the student, this guy comes to talk about N Global. Now I sat there, he's talking about N Global. The moment I realized it's network marketing, I switch up. God has blessed me. I fly first class and private jet. I don't need to be doing network marketing. But as I sat there in my zone out state, I heard the voice of God as clear as day. God said to me, open your eyes. That was when I began to listen. Yes. Yes. 
And what I heard, the figures of the kind of money they said I'll be making doing network marketing that I hate, I thought this just sounds too good to be true. But guess what? If God is asking you to open your eyes, then it means that what I've been shown is true. So that day I went and spoke, went back to my hotel in Abuja, slept in the night. I like to think things through. Woke up in the morning and I called this lady. I said, have you joined this business? She said, yes, I have. I said, how much money do you make? She said, I joined about a month ago. She said, on average, I make about equivalent of about four to five hundred dollars a day. I said, really? She said, yes. I said, show me the proof. She sent me her alerts. I saw that it was real. I said, I'm in. <coughs> yes. Well, guess what? In one year, I became top nine. Wow. Wow. I want to say this. A alliance in motion is a revolution in our generation. If you don't realize what you have on your hands, you will play with it. I came on this trip because I am so passionate about this business. Because God said to me, open your eyes. My entire family, my mother, once I saw it was real, I set up an account for my mother, for my wife, for my children, told all my siblings, I have found a gold mine. This is a gold mine. Yes. yes it's, a gold mine. Mine. it's a gold mine. For those of you who are here in the Philippines, just in case you don't realize, you are sitting in the heart of the gold mine. Don't take it for granted. Don't get so accustomed to it that you lose the sense of the value of what you have in your hands. When you go to bed at night, make a decision. You're going to make this work for you. I want to get to the stage in my life. I don't want to have to be traveling up and down. I travel a lot. I'm in the air all the time. Thank God I fly in the best of class and I can sleep on the plane. But what happens when I get to the point in my life when I can't travel anymore? I want to have residual income. And I don't want my lifestyle to change. And AIM Global is going to help me accomplish that. Oh, I know it will. It's not even a prayer point, it will. Because I am doing what I have to do now. They say, play now, pay later. Or uh, play now, pay later. Yeah, At yeah, some stage, yeah. you're going to pay a price. I choose to pay now. So when I get old, I can relax and live a life of luxury. Yeah. My sister sent me a message just about two weeks ago. My immediate elder sister. She's built her own house because of Game Global. Come on. Five members of my family are top 200 in Nigeria because of Game Global. I used to give my mother money, send money to my mother. I don't need to do that anymore. My mother makes her own money. It is not what this will do for you, but how it can help you to lift others who are around you, to give them a sense of pride and dignity, to know that they make their own money. I really want to see you all. I'm so glad I have a new family here in, in the Philippines. I will keep coming back. I will keep coming back. Please send me a message on Facebook. I want many friends. I don't have any friends apart from these guys in the Philippines. I want to come to the Philippines and know that I have a beautiful family waiting for me. I want to say I want to thank you all for being so warm and so receptive. I will come back and I will see you all again soon. I pray that God will bless your businesses. That whatever has died in you, if it is your desire or your passion, that God will cause that to be revived in your life. That as you leave this place today, a new fire will burn in your heart. And I want to say this, nature never hands over its treasures without a fight. If you say you want it, you must fight for it. God bless you. Yes.